I'm feeling tired and I didn't even have to learn anything to write this project. I can't imagine how tired you are. But please don't be too disheartened. This project builds a bridge between JavaScript and Swift. And now that bridge is built, you can add your own Swift functionality on top. Some of the code isn't pleasant to work with. And certainly I wish iOS would just figure out text view insets automatically for keyboards. But you're through it now, so your project is done. And remember, anyone can sit through a tutorial, but it takes actual work to remember what was taught. It's my job to make sure you take as much from these tutorials as possible. So I've prepared another short review to help you check your learning. You can find a link to this on the main Hacking with Swift review page. Once again, it's time for your challenge. One of the best ways to learn is to write your own code as often as possible. So here are three ways you can put your newfound knowledge to use straight away to make sure you fully understand what's going on. First, add a bar button item that lets users select from a handful of pre-written example scripts shown using your UI alert controller. At the very least, your list should include the example we used in this project. Second, you're already receiving the URL of the site the user's on. So you use user defaults to save the user's JavaScript for each site you should convert the URL to a URL object in order to use its host property. And third, for something bigger, let users name their scripts, then select one to load using a UI table view.